Good morning, everybody. It's um, Thursday. Thirsty Thursday, water your plants. I love that. Anywho, um, I get better in some areas and worse in others. That's, that's my daily routine right now. So my toes are not, I'm not waking up with my toes swollen. That's progress. But my calves are swollen now. So um, I'm going to say progress. Um, I am having some chest pain, very little. Of course, that's part of of some of the symptoms I've had. I'm predisposed of having. Um, if you've read up on all of those vaccines, um, whatever your your body is predisposed of of having, you're going to have it. Is what I've been reading. So I know what to look for. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any of these former symptoms. My blood pressure, thankfully, is staying down. Um, it's been reading more in the 120s than it ever has, though, which concerns me. Because once it starts there, it's my, my average blood pressure before in the past that I was living and somewhat thriving on was in the 140s and 150s, just so you know, without blood pressure meds. So now I'm in the 120s or less. Usually it was 107 over 67. And it's, it's elevating. It's getting higher, which concerns me too. But again, I'm on his schedule, so every day to me is a gift. So despite my pain and suffering, I just keep moving ahead. And if that means I have to sleep 10 hours in a day or more, that's what I have to do. And with my head pain, I can't even learn right now because it just adds to the additional pain that I don't need. So last night, I think I went to bed a little after 8 and woke up 12 hours later. So it's, uh, it's been rough. And then that incident with the horse just beat me up that much more that my body didn't need, but I needed to be there to keep peace and calm. I know that now. And I was able to see what I saw, and I still don't know how I did that, but that was him. Because any other time I would just been passed out on the floor, on the ground, whatever, and I didn't. So um, today, Got Princess Harley here. Hannah's waiting for Jason. Jason just pulled up because he's got to unload and reload and get to the market. So he's not tardy. <laughs> Can't be tardy for the market. People want those delightful sandwiches that they make. So today is Thursday. Off of the glasses because they don't help me read. They never did. Um, Thursday is November 18th. I'm supposed to go to some mix and mingle for the cove later today. I need to go to acupuncture. Let's start with that first. I don't know that I can do two things. This will be my first outing since Monday. It's going for acupuncture, so I can make it. So your homework assignment is to read 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 12 through 18 and Psalms 9, verses 1 through 14. We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and over you in the Lord, and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 12 through 13. And today's title is R-E-S-P-E-C-T. And that's what it looks like, R. -E Dash e, dash s. We live in a world with authority issues. Oh, Lord, do we. That's an understatement. That's what sin does. Leaders would rather not lead, and followers would rather not follow. Well, it's kind of hard to follow leaders that aren't following. 
the laws and regulations. I'm not going to follow somebody that is being corrupt or deceptive to the rest of the people. That's not going to happen. And he's not going to approve of that either. We do not want to take responsibility for our actions, though we want credit when things go well. That's for sure. We like to think that we are all equal and therefore all the same and have equal access to every opportunity. We resist the idea that some are in positions of authority and others are not. Paul encourages the Thessalonians to respect those who labor among them. Paul is speaking now about pastors and ministers. So what should we expect of our pastoral leadership? Faithfulness comes first. Our pastors are given to speak what the Lord has given them. If they preach the gospel among you, the truth of God's word, then rejoice. How beautiful are the feet of those who spread the gospel. Therefore be at peace with one another. Give thanks to God for faithful pastors. Encourage those who have been given to encourage you. In the body of Christ, we all have a role to play. We need one another. Heavenly Father, teach us to rejoice with one another, supporting and loving those whom you have given into our lives. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's very true. Aretha didn't sing that song for nothing. And I know my dad loved that song. And a video or a, a memory of us going to Artisan popped up, which is near and dear to my heart. I miss my dad every day. But my body is beat up and I am struggling. But I got my leg warmers on. <laughs> I haven't gone back yet because I haven't left my house. <laughs> and I don't think the gall tags, well they might, I don't know, I'll have to look. I didn't even bother because that would mean I'd have to print out the label to ship it out. That would require work and I don't know that I'm able to do that right yet. That's how bad I am. That's all I can do to feed the girls, take them out, so that Harley can see his, her boyfriend next door. Tanner, oh boy. <laughs> she picked her head up too. Not surprised. But that's the extent of my days right now because I am extremely weak. I know when I go see my acupuncturist today, which I will, no matter what, make sure I can get there. I think my appointment's at 12.30, 11.30, 12.30, something like that. So I will make sure I make that appointment. And I know already what he's going to tell me, but we'll see. He knows right when I walk in what's going on. And he knows where to put the needles. And, um, yeah. So, anyway. Please say some more prayers. <laughs> we could use them. Harley's doing a little better eating. Had to make a new round of oatmeal up for them to add to their, their food. Which I accomplished that this morning. So, that's one positive note for today that I did accomplish that. My nausea is extremely horrific. I, um, it sucks, to be honest. But 7-Up, even though I'm not supposed to have sugar, is the one thing. I've tried ginger water. It just doesn't. It's not as effective. And the 7-Up kicks in quickly. So, I'm very grateful for that. But on that note, um, it's a cloudy day here, but I hope the sun will come out. It always does. It's very warm out. I'm going to guess it's in the low 80s already. So, even on a cloudy day, you still feel the sun and the warmth. You can't miss it here. Thank the Lord. So, I hope you have a great day. And, um, don't forget to water your plants. 
Anywho, have a great day. Bye.